times for them. I am 13 years old. Today, I will present a story. Very good evening to teachers and my friends. Today, I'm going to present the story entitled The Wise King. Once there lived a very wise king. His name was King Solomon. He was famous throughout the land. His people lived happily because he was a guy ruler. The rulers from far and envied him. Not only was he wise, his subjects loved him very much. One day, a queen for a nearby country came to visit him. She wanted to test King Solomon's power of solving puzzles. She said, Your Majesty, I have two flowers in my hand. One is filled and the other is artificial. I want you to guess which one is filled and which is artificial without touching or smelling them. King Solomon kept quiet. He closed his eyes and started thinking. He opened his eyes and he looked proud. He opened, he closed his eyes again and went into the fog. There was complete silence. The queen was happy because she thought that King Solomon did not know the answer. Gosh! Shout the king. Open all the windows so the fresh air can come in. The guards opened all the windows in the palace. At that time, a few butterflies flew into the room and set on the flower. They was on the queen's right hand. They then flew to the flower on the queen's left hand and set on. The butterflies spent a longer time with the flower. They were trying to submit the on the flower. The wise skin said, The flower in your right hand is artificial, whereas the one in your left hand is the real flower. How do you know? Ask the queen. The king answered, The butterfly was sucking nectar from it. Only real flower and nectar. The queen told King Solomon and said, You are truly a wise king. The border of the story, think creative ways to solve problems. That's the end of the story. Thank you.